Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Finding Factor Pairs, part two. In the last Finding Factor Pairs video, we completed the top half of the page. At the end of this video, your paper will look like this. Throughout this video, if you need more time at any point, simply pause the video and take as much time as you like. To prepare the paper, write these numbers and underline them too. Write 16 and underline it. Then write 18 and underline it. Now write 20, 21, 24, 25, 27, and 28. Again, if you need more time, simply pause the video. Let's begin with the number 16. We can think of 16 as one group of 16 or 16 groups of one. We can also think of it as two groups of eight or eight groups of two. And we can also think of 16 as four groups of four. Let's write this on the paper. On your paper write that we can think of 16 as one group of 16 or 16 groups of one. And we can also think of it as two groups of eight or eight groups of two. And we can also think of it as four groups of four. Remember to pause the video if you would like more time. What about 18? We can think of 18 as one group of 18 or 18 groups of one. We can also think of it as two groups of nine or nine groups of two. We can also think of 18 as three groups of six or six groups of three. Let's write this on the paper. On your paper write that we can think of 18 as one group of 18 or 18 groups of one. And we can also think of it as two groups of nine or nine groups of two. And we can also think of 18 as three groups of six or six groups of three. Again, remember to pause the video if you would like more time. Let's move to 20. Under 20 write one times 20. We know that one times 20 is equal to 20 times one. Also write two times 10, which we know is equal to 10 times two. Also write four times five, which we know is equal to five times four. Let's move to 21. Under 21, write one times 21. We know that one times 21 is equal to 21 times one. Also write three times seven, which we know is equal to seven times three. Let's move to the number 24. On your paper, write that we can think of 24 as 1 times 24, or 2 times 12, or 3 times 8, or 4 times 6. Remember to pause the video if you need more time. Let's move to the number 25. On your paper, write that we can think of 25 as 1 times 25, or 5 times 5. Let's move to the number 27. On your paper, write that we can think of 27 as 1 times 27 or 3 times 9. Let's move to the number 28. On your paper, write that we can think of 28 as 1 times 28 or 2 times 14 or 4 times 7. In the next videos, we'll add to this chart, so be sure to keep this paper in a place where you can find it easily. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Finding Factor Pairs, Part 2.